Alicia Keys, Alicia Electric Keys. How about that? <laughs> so if I was to break this down in this project, this particular instrument is called Electric Felt, and I love it. gosh first thing i thought going through some of these presets the bass on this thing is amazing and i feel like this instrument was sampled perfectly native instruments has definitely outdone themselves once again this is not one of those instruments that you hear it in a lot of other collections where when you go to the high registers, it sounds weird or low. This was sampled perfectly. So that's one of the sounds that I use in this project. So the next one is And listen to the low register. Crazy, crazy high register. Quality, quality. The next sound that I use This one is called Crunch Swirl Low register I appreciate that. High register. So the other instrument that I was playing with, in case in case we didn't, Doppler or Doppler, and just look how this thing light up. The animation on this thing is pretty pretty dope. Low register. Crazy. And then the bass is just one of my favorite bass I like to use. Base. So we have one, two, three, four, about four of these in this project. Just just to give you guys context of what this Elisha Electric Keys is all about. Right? And then the drums is coming from Superior Drummer. Which is this track right here. And then I got some other xylophone sound, stock, stock Ableton Live stuff. I just threw that in there just to help with some, with some kind of, uh, textual, textual uh, vibes there. And then I got like these, this vocal thing here. Again, something I pulled from inside of Ableton Live. And just do a couple of effects on there, like a, a pipe resonator or whatever. Just I don't know, just give it something a little different. 
and then EQ it a little bit. All right, so let's dive a little bit deeper into the Alicia's electric keys. Now, I kind of want to say it's a play series, but I don't think it's a play series. This one is set up a little bit different than your normal play series, you know. I'm not a keyboard player. I'm just demo. Okay. So like we used to or usual in, in any other places, we, we can go here and find all of the presets, which you can, but it's just a simple layout. There is no structure to this playlist, but you could definitely get two things fast this way. But you don't know what you are clicking on, right? So the way to get to the presets is actually through here. If you click here, this little deal right here and things start to make a lot more or better sense here where we get to break things down by types, character, style and presets. So if you want something to clean, we can just go straight to Neo Grand. That sounds good. Like I say, the highs, the lows, can you hear that? I'm amazed with the quality in terms of like what it sounds like across the register, across the whole the whole keyboard bed here. So that's Neo Grand. I'm going to favor that. That sounds pretty good. So what does this Bloomy Grand sounds like? Again. Right, I'll be forever here. Let's let's go. I don't know a few more to see what's what's happening here. So say like we start to go into the style. Now we're looking at pop, filter, chops. There's definitely a lot more creativity going on here. What about bright eight eighties? You know, this world. Sample perfectly. This stuff is amazing. First light. soul clean soul yep let's see Okay, 
So in order to get out of those, you just have to unclick any of these, say clean, and then let's go for a tremolo. Let's see. Tremo. Tremolo. Let's go for some gloomy grand. Ooh. Okay. What about this? Uh... Okay. I'm having so much fun. Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, let's go for something totally different. What about a uh, modulation electric pad? What does that sound like? Okay. It's like an LFO going on here. like that all right so if we was to keep going and just kind of check out you know what's going on around this deal here so first things first here at the bottom you got the pickup volume the mic volume and i want to say that these things change yeah they definitely change accordingly to the instrument right if i want a little bit more of a punch to you know a little slow a little softer turn down the delay a little bit more compression more saturation a little color man that's dope I like this this is this is really nice yeah, so, yeah, across the deal, you have these different, they, they change, you know, they change up. And once you click this here, everything pops up. This is the next thing I want to show, show you. So you could definitely, you could add to the, to the chain and take away and, and, you know, this is certainly not a play series because the play series, I don't think you can, I don't, I don't, yeah because this is associated with the guitar rig type stuff that comes in the guitar rig and it's like loaded with just stuff man it's crazy so if you want to change anything like that you just click on that if you want to change the compressor settings you just click on the compressor you want to change the delay you just click on it the reverb so it looks like that's what's involved here and then when you click on the instrument to me it sounds like you could change I was gonna say mic placement but that's not exactly what this is based on the icons here it looks like that this is a direct in and then this is the mic so I'm guessing maybe a mic placed at the amp I could turn that off. Blend blend them together. What about the source? Could definitely dive a little bit deeper into the source. Wow. What if I give it a little bit more pedal? I 
would imagine you would hear the major difference depending on the different presets that you want. All right, so let's keep moving. So you got the shape, the tone. These things have to turn on, obviously. Oh, we heard that immediately. That's dope. You know, I'm not going to go through everything, but I definitely wanted to get you guys an eyeball of what's happening here. So, yeah, um, I didn't want this to be a, a full, a long, a very long deal here, but I just wanted to, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Let's go for some R&B stuff. 80, 84. <laughs> Let's try adding some, well, there's just quite a bit of effects on it already. Let's, let's say if that was too bright, right? Too much air. We can change that. I like how they live with this wag bite. Say we want to dry. Let's add a little bit more chorus to his. I don't know you know you guys be the judge and do whatever you feel is needed for the project but I I am super impressed with this this will be added to what we do in production so yeah if you guys feeling this if y'all feeling this hopefully you guys are feeling this but you know what it is it ain't for everybody I'm always throw that out there my job is to tell you guys what's happening. There is a affiliate link in the description of this video. I appreciate it. If you click that link, I get the points for telling you about this here. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I'm Ella, B-Culture, Lifestyle Go Art. <laughs>